keep telling you a radical this is a real important video so you read this article this is a crabber in crescent city verifying kevin blanche's work he says you can't believe how bad it is remember my videos a few years ago because they got to bounce the crabbers and i says yeah they're eating all the dead seals and dead whales because everything's fucking dying in the ocean He's saying 30% collapse every report? No, 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 no. This is 99% collapse. He says it's horrific. It matches the fucking data on everything else. The great Pacific Genocide post Fukushima. You can go in denial all this fucking you want on Fukushima. You can go in denial all you want. You can ignore this acute radical collapse, this acute climate change over the last 10 years. Oh, it's climate change and nuclear. It's Fukushima. I'm here to tell you unarguable point. I remember people used to laugh at me, the Great Pacific Genocide. You read what he says. You know, and I got to tell you this story. My friend, who's a big Trumper, I mean, he burned his Trump flag yesterday. And he told me, he called me, and he says, Kevin, I got to tell you, my apologies. You warned me and told me that Trump was playing us, and he's a lying, phony fucker. And I says, yeah, just like Obama played the fucking lefties. You fucking told me. I says, I told you he was a phony using fucking piece of shit. He says, that fucking chill fucking rat. And this is as hardcore Trump supporter as they get. Oh, he was pissed. And he burned his Trump flag. And, you know, it's like this. This is important. For you Oregon Ducks. Crescent City, California. I mean, oh, that's just there. It's. Oh my God, this is such an ecological catastrophe from hell. COVID-19 from the sea, you know. So, this epic acute fucking collapse, you can blame on two fucking people. Two people. Who? Barack Obama and Donald Trump. The buck stops where? The buck, look, the Fukushima cover-up, it needs to stop. This is Today's the first day that nuclear weapons are fucking 100% illegal. They're illegal. International law. Well, you know, is our Putin and gang and fucking United States just going to thumb their fucking nose? Of course. That's what they do to the world, the fucking bullies. I mean, this ravishing, acute catastrophe that's happened to our ecology. So, people say it to me all the time. I'm at rallies. And, I mean, I had a guy coming up to me last year and he says, I don't believe it. It's one of the most intense, radical fucking rallies you've ever seen was the VP debate in... Salt Lake. They won't let you near. And when I say tear down the wall, I'm not talking about the fucking wall on the fucking Mexican border. I'm talking about the one around the fucking White House that Trump has put up. Oh, I'm going to lead the fucking march. I'm going to lead the march. And he goes in and watches TV in his fucking bunker. He tear us the peace vigil. Never forget that. So, stay with me. Go, Bills. When Alex Jones becomes the voice of reason at that rally, Alex Jones is right there saying, don't attack the police, don't go in there, don't fucking do this, back off, back off, at the rally. when he Remember when he took off Fukushima and just dropped it? Obama and Trump, look, Japan is completely controlled by the United States of usury, Abby. What a saga. Olympics canceled? Fucking hey, People aren't going to go, I can tell you right now. I know marquee athletes on this fucking university right here. Olympic caliber. You know, Chick Heslop, the legendary call. I can tell stories about him, boy. You know, I was a fucking runner. I was a half miler. Not here, you know. But in high school and junior high. And it's important. They're not going to go. You know, you can. it's not going to happen. Which, it's very, I mean, come on. Just the fact that they announced the Olympics, Rikata Iki, Rikata Iki, Rikata Iki, she's alive. You know, say by the bell. He's fighting for his fucking life right now. I mean, so many people, this acute fucking catastrophe, this... Look, life was headed the other way. Life expectancy was increasing every single fucking year. We are family. We need to go back to 1979. You know, Kevin Blanche, I'm the 1983 fucking Philadelphia 76ers. I'm the 1983 fucking Baltimore Orioles. I'm the 1979 fucking Birds. I'm the 19th set. We are family fucking Pittsburgh Pirates. You know what the tax rate? I mean, healthy America, no fucking debt. Fuck, we were shutting down nuclear. I mean, it was over. Remember the fucking concert in 79? Those phony fuckers. Bruce Springsteen promised me he would. And I, I got tickets, went. Fucking, I'm behind, you know, 
a Fukushima sign went right up on the front fucking roll at the Springsteen concert just recently. A couple fucking three, four years ago, I was at it. Remember their little documentary film? Teach you the evils of nuclear energy. Jackson Brown, fucking Bonnie Ray, fucking Bruce Springsteen, you name it. The only one that has held even a little bit. Tom Petty. Don't come around here no more. Fucking they have free fall and they, I want to write her name. In the, they sold out. They all sold out. Graham Nash used to sit me with, with next to me at the rallies for Mothers for Peace at Diablo. You know, I'll be there again soon. Trump betrayed us. Obama betrayed us. Yalta by the sea. This whole fucking thing. The first guy on the Fukushima catastrophe that called into RT. I know him. Where do you live? I live in Arco, Idaho. I work for Idaho National. You're inside the reactor of Fukushima? Yeah, it's in full meltdowns. It's in full meltdowns. Uh, Kevin Blanche has been screaming all over the internet. He's right. <laughs> I mean... I'm fucking real. Why were they there? That's who runs the fucking nuclear problem. You ought to buy the sea. They divided up the fucking world. Still man Stalin and fucking crew took Eastern Europe. The United States took Japan. Hello. Barry Antoinette Obama. The only thing he ever said true when he ate his fake sushi there. Drink his fake foot with Michigan water. Don't drink the... These trees were signed by... You go back to Caroline Kennedy. She was the ambassador of Japan. She got caught on a hot mic saying that my... Dad would spit in Barack Obama's face. He's the fucking biggest phony fucking... That's Caroline Kennedy. Her son, who looks exactly like John Kennedy. He'll be president one day. He gave... The only statement he's ever given in public, Fukushima, Japan, on the 50th anniversary of this. The, to the day! The ironies. Nuclear energy's got to go. This is the greatest... Country. Fukushima and the cover up Biden and the fucking cover up Biden, you know, and I will say this left, right. People say, ah, oh, you're in the street. I can't believe the radical right wingers love you. The, the lefties love you fucking. And you speak the same rhetoric to both because I, it's like this. I say, look, both these fucking sides never seen a military fucking kill you contract fucking rape the earth fucking policy. They didn't love to fucking make the 1% wealthy for our fucking deaths. When it all comes down to it, I don't care if it's fucking Proud Boys or so-called fucking Antifa, Antifa, which is all manufactured astroturf. When it comes right fucking down to it, people love their children. People love the animals. People want to breathe air. People want to eat clean fucking food. People don't want to die of cancer. Fucking longevity's headed south post-Fukushima. Dramatically, we have open heart surgery. We have cancer fucking breakthroughs. I'm living pro proof. We have organ transplants. We're not living longer. We're living less. We poisoned the fucking planet. You know, hello, Fukushima is the greatest event in human history. Acute collapses, more data, the crab. I mean, they're bottom feeders. When they bounce a little bit, I was walking the coast of California. The sardines and anchovies fucking collapse. Fucking, the seals are just dying. I'm with the famous fucking photographer at, at Avila. Diablo Canyon. I'm on the pier. A uh, family of seals come up. I'm like, what? Ah whole family they come right up to me and I'm having a full blown out conversation with them last big family of seals I saw it was in 2014 on Blue Hearts for Valentine's Day he says we work it and Noah only let us put one orange tag on the rescued which they rescued his group rescued they had rescued 1500 already that year and then they go out the next year Catalina whatever and they look and to see with the orange tag, we well, would only let him put one orange tag. They wanted to put two. He says, "Well, I found one, Kevin. We named it Blanche." I was in the Bone Rock Transplant Center with the number one triathlete in the world to the left of me, Marshall Jensen to the right. You know, they died the same fucking day. Fantastic people. Forty-four people in that acute. I went in on 11, 11, 11. John, the only one fucking left alive of that group. The only fucking one. And I was too sick for a bone marrow transplant. You know, I have a job to do. You know, and you want to attack me left, fucking right? This isn't about left, right. This is about fucking, we are family. Just go back to 1979. No debt, middle class had all the power. 
You can call it socialist. You can call it whatever. Well, what this is, is that Trump a capitalist? He's a wannabe imperialist. It's imperialism. We are family. Look what the tax rate was. Look what the environment was. Look what the fucking movement was. 1979, I was at that fucking concert. I have a staff fucking shirt from that concert. I was there in New York City. Got the peace vigil all those years. All this fucking fight. I never quit. I always say it. My exes, you know, they don't live in Texas. You know, these beautiful fucking girls with flowers in their fucking hair and idolistic, you know, beautiful fucking souls. They took the flowers out of their fucking hair and traded in for a fucking shiny fucking car coffin and a fucking mortgage. Fucking breast implants and fucking Botox. And the men, they're fucking... I don't know what the fuck happened in them. They completely gone. Completely fucking whacked out. So, here it is. You read through. He says this is fucking line after line. And this is important. They're saying what's showing up in the crab is the unknown of the unknown. Now, the Qualt fucking native tribe, they already knew. They supposedly dumped 29 tons, which I call bullshit, of crab. After the fact, you know, it's still closed in Washington. Demon and they don't—they said it's not demonic acid. They said, come right out and say it's the unknown of the unknown. Scientists are still mystified. They're baffled. They're puzzled. They're stumped. They're perplexed. They're bewildered. I'm telling you, it's Fukushima. So is COVID. I'm telling you. I predicted all. So is the fires. And this drought, we're supposed to get endangered species tonight. Some snow in Utah. This drought is... A when these houses on the fence are fucking all in Utah right here, which I plastered and stuck with so many of them. When they fucking burn this year, don't come crying to me. Fucking, you fools. This drought, you're in denial. Oh, uh, KSL says today on the news, yay, we could get a major dump in the mountains. Major, how much? A foot. Major dump? That fucking the mountains? That's Basin right there, fucking Mitt Romney, fucking 2002. <laughs> That's the world's steepest line. A normal storm dumps fucking four to feet in the fucking, those mountains. There, there's none. That hasn't been since post Fukushima. And this is not gradual. My spiral jetty videos prove it. At perfect normal level, the Great Salt Lake, it's collapsed. Just like I said it was going to. The heat, the fire, just like I said it was going to. The heat bubble over the United States, fucking, this fucking heat source pouring off Fukushima, and we're just going to go into denial. You could blame two people. Barry Antoinette Obama and fucking Donald Abbey fucking wannabe fucking Trump. The buck stops where? Okay, Ed Biden, you're on the clock. We've tracked down these trolls that have been attacking me viciously, funded by the fucking Nuclear Energy Crime Syndicate. That fucking rat right there at fucking North fucking San Diego. I'm fucking on you. I know who you are, and I know right where you're at. Be careful, motherfucker. Be careful, because I know who you are, and I saw what all you fuckers, and I know who paid you. Oh, look at this one. Downtown. Gonna drop in here. Headed south. See, they coming back. You can attack me while I'm in critical condition, and we know who paid you. The reactor owners, it's San Onofre. We know for a fact. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Come after me, fucker. You know what? And I can't fight back. I'm fucking real. So you read through these fucking crab numbers. And it matches everything I've else I've said. The fucking ocean is completely fucking collapsed. 95 fucking percent post Fukushima. In an acute, radical way. My fucking work has proven it. The Great Pacific Genocide. Remember all the videos were being made? All the Great Pacific, including Dutch sense, that phony fucker. Oh, it's all a hoax. Oh, okay, it's a fucking hoax. As a scientist, we call that an outliner. Fucking. This is the greatest ecological in acute fashion. Global warming, oh fucking A. Fukushima is hot, 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 hot. It took Lake Barrett on 60 minutes, fucking 3,000 fucking days. I'll tell you what Kevin Blanche told you in one fucking hour. You can shadow ban me. You can fucking kettle me. You can fucking run from me. But the toothpaste out of the tube. <laughs> you ain't getting that fucking lightning back in a bottle. Ke Kevin Blanche's influence on what's going to happen over the next week is already out there on this fucking generation. I can prove it. The picture that I'll use on this, I'm standing with Matea Benjamin, 
when they called this election in front of the White House. I'm standing right there. Her husband took that picture when they called it. I went up to the liquor store to buy a bottle of champagne to celebrate with because I voted against Trump. I voted for Bernie Sanders, by the way, not because of his fucking homemade mittens. And by the way, when Bernie Sanders is the junior senator, how old is he? And he's the junior senator from Vermont? Whoa, geezers at fucking Caesars. So, he's an anti-nuclear. Pull the fucking plug, he says. Pull the plug on nuclear energy on this infamous day. I meet a kid, he's in line. He says, Kevin Wyeth, saw you on the news last night. Saw you on the news the night before. I used to watch your videos. You influenced my life tremendously. I did. I hope in a good way. Oh, yeah. I work on the Hill. I'm an anti-nuclear, and I fight them, and we're working on it, and we're trying to get there. And I says, well, maybe we have a chance with this fucking guy out of here. Yeah, this guy had the fucking brakes on us. He, you know, pro-nuclear. I says, well, let's go in on a bottle of champagne together. So... I cork the champagne, dump it on my head, chug it, fuck, shotgun two beers with two fucking girls, smoked a fucking cigar, and then did the night shift at the Peace Vigil in this fucking mob. Whoa, at my age. Ooh. Eek. <laughs> I can still hang. I can still hang. I can still hang. So, he burned his Trump flag. And he says, you were right, I wouldn't listen to you. Just like the lefties wouldn't listen to me on Obama. He played you, both of them. They covered up Fukushima, consciously. Biden, you gonna play on that fucking team? Greatest ecological catastrophe in human fucking history. And you're gonna all deny it. <laughs> Stan Tuna, Kevin Wyatt's probably the greatest, well, I think it's unarguable now, the greatest PhD in human history. Stand tuned.